Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, I will tell you about the Excel map chart. This is a new addition and it is only available in Excel 2019 and later versions. So if you are using older versions of Excel like Excel 2016, you will not be able to use this feature. For later versions, you will be able to create these map charts. Now map charts are an excellent way to show geographical data and it is something which was missing from Excel for a very long time. So if you have data like country names, state names, cities, postal codes, etc. You can highlight those regions and show some value corresponding to those regions. Let me demonstrate how this is done using an example. If you want to do this side by side, you will find this Excel file in the resources section of this video. In this file, I have two sheets. In the first sheet, I have country name and correspondingly their number of COVID cases. So this I have taken from Worldometer and here I have the top 10 countries and their number of COVID cases. Now, if I want to plot this, I can simply select this data, click on this maps option and select this filled map. Now you see that it is taking some time to render. The reason for that is when we are creating a map chart, it takes this data and it connects to internet and gets the data of how to plot this map via internet. So this is not done by the system itself. For creating a map chart, you must be connected to internet. But once you have connected a map chart, you will be able to view it anytime you open this file. But to create this chart for the first time, you will need internet connectivity. Now I'm making this chart big so that you can see uh, corresponding to the value you also see the coloring of the chart. So United States has the most number of cases and it is dark blue and other countries which have less number of cases have lighter shades of blue. Now similar to formatting other charts, you can right click on this chart, click on format plot area. Here you can plot the chart area. So if I format the chart area, if I put solid color here, you will see that this whole thing is the chart area. Whatever is colored blue now, if I put orange, so this whole thing is the chart area. So I'm putting automatic here. Then we have the chart title. So you can format this also. Then we have legends. So this box, which is highlighting the number of cases, this is the legend. If you want to format it, you can do that. And then we have the plot area, which is this smaller box inside the chart area. So this is the plot area. You can format this also. And lastly, this is the most important one. That is the series number of COVID cases. So this is what is being plotted here. This is the thing which is giving it the coloring. So in this, if we go to the third option, then we will see these three things. First is map projection. So these things are particular to the maps chart. You will not see these options in any other chart. These are particular to this maps chart. Map projection is set to automatic. You have three options here. If you understand the kinds of map projection, you can choose the one which you think will suit better. But since most of us do not understand these map projections, I think keeping it at automatic will be fine. Then we have map area. Here you have two options, either to show only regions with data or to show the entire world map. Now, since these countries are scattered all over the world, selecting automatic or world will not make any difference. 
but suppose we were having data of only countries belonging to asia or south america then if we select only regions with data it will zoom in on that particular continent and that will make much more sense because we will be highlighting that part of the world which actually has the data so instead of showing the whole world we can focus on that particular region where we have the data since our data has countries from all over the world we can either choose automatic or the world both will be giving the same result then there is this option of map labels so map labels is basically the value corresponding to which we are seeing these colorings so if i set it to show all you can see the labels of all these regions if i select best fit only only those regions will be shown whose name fits into the area if it does not fit it will not be shown then the last option is to change this coloring so currently we have a sequential two color that is light blue to dark blue you can change it to light orange to dark orange or you can change the sequential two color to diverging three color so here if i put lowest value as green midpoint as yellow and highest value as dark red you can see that we have these three diverging values corresponding to the number of covid cases so this map chart is not limited to plotting only values for countries you can also plot values for states so here i have states of usa you can put states of any other country also most of the times it is able to plot those also perfectly again you just have to select the data go to insert and click on maps now this time you can see that since these states belong to usa only usa is highlighted here and if you go to the formatting option of this data series you will be able to see that this map area has additional option of country region so automatically it has selected country region only usa is shown here and its states are marked with the corresponding number of covid cases so using a map chart is pretty straightforward it is a great addition to the kind of charts that we can draw in excel before i close this video i like to highlight some limitations of this chart first is as i have mentioned earlier also that to create a map chart you need active internet connection so you cannot work on a worksheet and create map charts if you are not connected to internet while creating the chart you need an active internet connection secondly you cannot plot lat long coordinates or street addresses so this works on city names state names country names and postal codes but it does not work on lat long coordinates or the street addresses so it is very difficult to pinpoint on a geographical map using this but you can highlight regions which are predefined with bing and those can be plotted using these maps and lastly in case you have two places with the same name you can still plot it for example suppose you have two cities which have the same name rome now to plot those correctly you need to add a new column to the left of the chart and this column should contain some higher level value so if we have cities with same name you either provide their states or their countries so that disambiguation can be done and the correct city can be plotted on the map so we need to make sure that the data we are plotting is either unique or if it is having duplicates we need a new column which contains disambiguation based on higher level values so that's all i think you will appreciate the importance of a map chart it is a great tool to show geographical data and it is very easy to use in excel that's all in this video i'll see you in the next one